So what is going on guys? Kusage Rosé from Zenkai Gaming bringing you a quick video showing you and explaining the best legendary gear you can equip for your Ronin. So go ahead and smash this like button guys. Get this video out there to folks and let's get started. This will be a series based. Okay, so we will be going through all four classes. However, for this video, we are going to be starting with the Ronin class. So before we even look at the gear, go into your techniques, go all the way down to this last row. If you've reached rank 18, you'll notice that you've got an, one last technique. Increase the number of legendary items you can equip by one. This is the technique I recommend you pick up, guys. I know you're sacrificing a lot of support with this heal over time on your Breath of Izanami. I know you're sacrificing a lot of power um, with your igniting enemies near all players. However, if you really want to take your game to the next level, if you really want to step your game up, guys, and, and reach those... Those godlike levels. You've got to take this bonus technique. And there's the infamous PlayStation message. That's been happening ever since this fucking update. But if you really want to take your <laughs> game to the next level, guys, you've got to equip an additional legendary item. You have to do it. I know it hurts, but trust me, it'll work out. Trust me. Now, go into your gear. There are five different legendary katanas. We're not going to be talking about all of them. However, the two katanas I recommend are this one. Or the Master Katana. If I had the Master Katana, I'd put that on. The Master's Katana is the number one katana in the game, um, in my opinion. And I know a lot of other folks feel the same way. But if you have the Master's Katana, especially on your Ronin or your Samurai. I know we're only talking about the Ronin, but your Samurai as well. If you have the Master's Katana, you want to equip that. If you don't equip it and you have it, you are trolling, guys. You are legit trolling. It gives you access to all stances, all right? It's the best katana in the game. So if you don't have that one, if you have Yoshitsune's hand, that's fine. Um, any other legendary katana will work here, but the Master's Katana is the one that you want. Um, this one is pretty solid. Perfect Prairie Window melee damage. Um, that was all random. And then the Moon Stance. I reforged this a few times, um, as you can tell. So the Bomb Pack, I, I don't really recommend you take a ranged. If you do take a ranged legendary, I recommend you take the Bomb Pouch. This bomb pouch allows your bombs to heal allies, which plays to what the Ronin does. Now, the Ronin, yes, the Ronin is a support. Obviously, the Ronin slays enemies, but the Ronin is the support class out of all the classes, the support. So you want to heal your enemies. You've got to stay on your feet, and you, or you don't want to heal your enemies. You want to heal your allies, and you've got to stay on your feet so that you are able to heal and support your allies. The Ronin actually has to be very skilled, maybe even the most skilled out of the group, because if the Ronin goes down, now everybody's in trouble, right? The Samurai and the Ronin, in my opinion, are the are are the two who cannot go down. They have to stay on their feet. Samurai is the DPS, and the Ronin needs to support that DPS. Now, your Ronin Charm. I don't recommend you take a Legendary Charm either. Um, there's a couple others you can take. There is Benkei's Last Stand. I actually have it. Uh, Benkei's Last Stand, Shogun's Fortitude. Um... So what this does is grants immunity to flash of poison effects. That's solid. And what this one does is 15% chance to ignore arrow damage. Again, I don't really recommend you waste a legendary slot on a charm. But if that's what you want to do, go right ahead. There's a few of them that you could put there. The one I recommend is either Last Breath, which will, instead of taking fatal damage, it heals you for 50 health, or Sacred Iron. Um, enemies that melee damage you have weaken applied to them. For your ghost weapon number one, again, I don't recommend you take a legendary item here. Um, it's kind of a waste of a slot. There's only two. You can either get uh, Spirit Kunai, which will lower all cooldown on your character by 15 seconds, or the Sticky Bomb. Now, the Sticky Bomb heals allies, so you can, all, you can take that as well. However, I found a better and more efficient means of healing folks, and that is the ghost weapon slot number two. That's what we're going to be talking about right now. The Mist of Yagata. It's a smoke bomb that also heals allies in the smoke, guys. It's fucking nasty. Check this out. Check out the bonuses. Stealth attack damage plus 25%. You can chat with the modifications here. Um, it'll show all of them. So you have, you have your cooldown reduction, which is pretty solid. And then you have your stealth attack damage. So allies coming out of that smoke, you know, they dance around it a little bit, heal up. Then they come out of that smoke, they're doing bonus damage. Um, 25%. So that's, like, that's nothing to sneeze at, right? That's the max stealth attack damage you can get. So that's pretty solid. Um, and then the major effect is the black powder. So when the smoke bomb detonates, nearby enemies are thrown backwards. So again, this is the ghost weapon I recommend you take. 
There's also the Healing Gourd, which also heals nearby allies when used. And uh, there's a couple of other ghost weapons. So you, either, you can either take the Healing Gourd or what I have, the Mist of Yagata. This is what I recommend, the Mist of Yagata. So basically, guys, to sum it up, I recommend you take... If you're going to equip two legendary items, which is what I recommend, you need to go for one in the Katana slot, and you need to go for one in the Ghost Weapon 2 slot. Um, in the Katana slot, either Yoshitsune's Hand or Master's Katana, any of them will work, but those are the two I recommend. Um, number one being the Master's Katana, which I don't have yet. And for your Ghost Weapon 2, either take the Healing Gourd, that also heals nearby allies, or take the Mist of Yagata. Now you're going to see how all of this syncs up. Um, so you see my perfect parry window, right? It's plus 12%. That's going to sync up with my Ronin Charm and my Leeching Parry. A perfect parry restores a small amount of health and fills your resolve faster. So we're going to be perfect parrying pretty much every fucking thing that comes our way, guys. That's able to be parried. So we're going to be constantly healing, constantly filling, filling our resolve. Um, this one doesn't really add to any... As, as a Ronin, you need firepower, right? Because what you're sacrificing in offensive power for support, you need you know, to make up somewhere else. So that's why I rocked the bomb pack. You know, you want your AOE damage and you want to, you know, light folks on fire. You, you want all that good stuff, okay? Sticky bomb here. Cooldown reduction damage increase. Again, fire it up. You want to light targets on fire. And then the, obviously, the Mystic Yagata, which we talked about. So hopefully you enjoyed, guys. Um, It's really hard to get exactly what you want because you have to reforge, and when you go to reforge, so for instance, if I reach for forge this, everything is going to change except you know what it except the type of bomb it is, right? Um, but if I reroll one of these slots, you know, I can only reroll. So if I reroll this right here, say this is unlocked, and I reroll this, and now I can only reroll this property. I can't, I can't uh, reroll this one. I can't reroll this one, right? So that's why it's tough to get exactly what you want. Um, but you just got to try to work with what you got and try to make an effective build to where everything syncs together. You want all of your slots to, to be able to sync together. That's what you want for maximum efficiency, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. The Legends is sick, guys. I really enjoy this game mode. Props to Sucker Punch for delivering this. This is awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.